Hi there, to start off our session working inside of Excel, first you have to actually be able to log into the platform. So that's the very first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, I'm gonna use my university account, and of course your university account might be, or maybe a little bit different. To get in and get logged in, you're gonna to go to www.office.com, right? That's the site you're gonna to go to. And when you go to that site, you're going to click the sign in button at the top right. So we'll click that now. I have a number of accounts that I've already used in the past, but if you already have one and it's not listed there, click use other account and that's what I'm gonna do now, okay? For me, my uh, email address is what we use and I'm going to assume that for you, your university you're gonna do the same thing. So it's um, just, my, just my university email address and of course I may not show that to you fully, but that's all I'm going to enter there and click next. Now the page switches over to my university stub page or entry page here and so it's got the university name on it with my email address and now I'm just going to enter my password here to log in. So we'll do that. All right and then click sign in. All right I'm going to choose to the, the option no or the answer no here to stay signed in. So we'll say no to that question. You can say yes if you want to. I switch back and forth between my work account my personal account and my university account. So I don't wanna stay signed in. I wanna be able to log out at will. All right, now on the left side of your screen are gonna be all of the apps that you have access to. And you'll notice there's Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneDrive, so on. For this particular playlist and this set of instructions and videos that we're gonna do, we're sticking just with Excel. Now, before I go in there, I wanna mention one thing. We're gonna be using Excel on the web or Excel for uh, the web 365. You can install, if your university lets you, the full version of Excel on your computer. And to do that, you're gonna go over to this button here that says install Office, click a down arrow, and say Office 365 apps. All right, I'm actually gonna do the second one, which is other install options. And the reason I wanna do that is because I want to show you the message that comes up will say you can install X number of PCs and, and Macs and X number of tablets and smartphones. So if you are using a Mac, for example, I happen to not be, I'm using a, a traditional um, Windows-based PC, but if you're using a Mac, uh, you can install and choose that version of Excel uh, to install. So you have at least my university's providing five licenses, I think that's the default, um, but you can you can install as many as, as they will let you. So if you don't wanna use the web version, you're certainly welcome to use the desktop version. For these tutorials though, I'm gonna be using the web version of Excel. So to begin, all we'll do is click on the Excel icon here and we'll be brought over to the home page. and I'm just going to start a new blank workbook. So let's go ahead and click new workbook. Excel will load into a web browser, a web page here, but it looks a lot like the traditional desktop version. Now there are features missing in this version that are not available in the desktop version and we'll get into that later. But for now, we're all set to begin with the first lesson which is next up on our playlist.